Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So this is the third part of Reform Wing Chun series. Now, in the first part, <clears throat> I had shared that Wing Chun is a forearm art, meaning the leg is one arm. This leg is going to crush the opponent's leg, manage his leg, or pressurize his leg. So this is like one arm. The second arm is the body arm where you lean into, you pressurize to the opponent's body. And there are many things you can do with this body. <clears throat> so this is the body arm. And then you're left with two arms here for striking or do different types of stuff, lock or so forth. So Wing Chun is a forearm art. And Wing Chun will get in to the range where it can perform the forearm attack defense struggling and it be able to get away and get in okay now so that is what wing chun is and thus wing chun is never as pre people have present in the kids <coughs> that uh Wing Chun train one way, but when Wing Chun fight, it is like a Western boxing or BJJ or kickboxing. That is not Wing Chun. Also, Wing Chun <clears throat> is not, as many have said that, Wing Chun is for uh, the trained, well-trained fighter. If you are a well-trained fighter, like uh, you have a uh, well trained in MMA or BJJ, then you can use the Wing Chun techniques. Well, it is not so too. Wing Chun is a technology with a uniqueness. For example, we talk about computer today. You have the IBM uh, or Microsoft Windows type of computer. You have the Apple iOS type of computer. Those are computer. Same with the BJJ, same with uh, Thai boxing, same with uh, Western boxing. Those are computer system. You look at it. Okay. Now, everybody know about the mouse you uh, use with the computer. Those are called accessory. A mouse is a mouse. A mouse is not a computer. So it is accessory. It's not computer. Your IBM or Microsoft Windows computer can use the mouse. Mouse, the uh, Apple computer can use the mouse. Okay. So Wing Chun is never a mouse, an accessory. Wing Chun is a computer system. So thus, I just share with you, Wing Chun is an art that fight in this cl uh, close range, having four arm. Okay. Now, with that understanding, the first reform series of video which I share with you is that one need to have the proper stance to develop the very basic. So please watch uh, the, the part one or series one on stands if you have not watched it yet. The second of the series of reform is that one need to have the breathing training, the deep low abs breathing training and the intra-abdominal pressure. Only that 
one be able to support to have the energy breathing is your energy is your fuel and then also your core stability when you fighting you need to have a really solid core so that you can have your entire body really solid okay not to mention that you need the intra-abdominal pressure because sometimes you will take strikes and you need the pressure to protect your internal organs there okay now so today we want to continue on the first video is about proper stance the second is about the breathing and the intra-abdominal pressure where you have to have to uh, stabilize your core so that your body can move as one today we want to get into another key element which is the hip handling because the hip handling is the connection between the leg and the torso you need to have a proper hip handling a dynamic one in order to connect your leg and your torso okay now so a proper hip handling or this area of handling is that the stance okay the stance the very basic stance this part has to be like an up you know like the arc of the bridge this has to be like an arc and with those type of uh, characteristics this external i call it external here the muscle here is pressing in while the inter inner here inner here the arc here is pressing out to balance the motions or activity in dynamic okay and the butt the butt is actually wrapping tighten it up okay so you have a string which is going outside you have a string which is going inside where this is up and you have your butt is actually securing this connection between your leg and your torso so that is the handling of the hip or the uh, connection between your leg and the uh, body or the torso now it is very simple to uh, have the training on the basic of this hip handling okay so for example we can have three types of uh, training that everybody can do okay to aware of this part or uh, the leg and body connection and to be able to manipulate it or handle it in dynamic so if you go to the first stance the stance i show you in the first part you have the stance where you can go up and down okay and turn that stance and then you have the breathing and then you have the intra-abdominal pressure to handling your core as in the second video now you reach the third video okay where you want an up here you want this to be able the muscle be able to, to to press in this muscle here be able to press out and your butt actually secure it you want that now you can do this exercise to to aware of that place and also to develop it 
to develop a good connectivity. Okay, now, so the first thing, the first exercise is, or the first test is, you want to push outward. You look at me, I push outward, okay? Upward, out and upward. Now, notice this, when I push out and upward, you see this up here, and this leg, and this butt here is changing the shape. Okay, you see this is in the neutral. I push it out. You see I'm changing the shape because I need to support my pushing with my leg and my body or my torso. So the hip here has to adjust dynamically. Okay, so the first awareness training or the drill is that you push forward while you want to use this inner part and external part and your butt to support that that pushing so that your entire body is one piece and then you want to grab pull it back okay again all this the inner the external uh, the external your butt has to be one dynamically adapt to it you see the difference my body change my ex exertions of strength change that thing is adaptively changed okay now this is the first one one hand down one hand push up and grab it back the second is one hand push out front, one hand go backward. Again, you feel that this is changing. Okay? And then you grab it back. You can feel that. Your entire body is one. So this is the second. The third is you stand at this stance, you grab it, in and you notice that how is this is changing and then you push it out now you are not doing this you are not doing turning your body or turning your stance you have all this thing your foot is riding to the ground to get the strength from the ground you are dragging in him pulling him in like when you want to throw somebody you're dragging him in and so you are not doing this, you are not doing this, but you're dragging him. Okay? And then you push him away. So this is the three exercise or drill or training for the basic development of the connectivity between your leg and your body. Okay? So, a forearm arch. I get into that, want to use my leg arm, my body arm, my hand arm. I need to have that basic stance handling or development. I need my breathing, my internal intra-abdominal pressure, and I need the well-connect leg and body hip handling okay only that way at any instance your body is one piece you have the body strength in dynamic yeah your entire body has strength in dynamic okay so you need to have that basic to play these games or else one will broke apart. So, Wing Chun stand must not be like this because you lose this part of your up of your leg and body connection. It becomes really fragile, you break. Wing Chun stand also cannot stand like this. 
this become a triangle, you lose the up, you lose the handling of this outside and your butt. Same with this. You lose your, your, your butt stuff, your butt security. It cannot be like that. Stand straight. Stand straight. We have no idea on the arc and the external strength and your butt is secure. Okay? So three things. Your arc, where you're going, pushing out, the, the strength exerting out, the external muscle where it, inside, so it secure it, and your butt is securing the entire thing. Three things, okay? So, it never is, Wing Chun stand never is like this. It never is like this. It never is like this. It never is like this, where you have completely no idea on this connectivity between your leg and your body. Okay, and as what I have shared with you in that three exercise or drill, this is dynamic. Okay, now, so Wing Chun 1850 or the Wing Chun with the characteristic of fighting with four arms is not the Wing Chun today, which is using something called structure. Everybody have their structure where the lower part of the body is like a rack. Okay. And uh, it is a stationary static, try to uh, be able to, uh, to, to, to passing force down to the ground, so forth. It is not that. Those type of stuff will not be able to support you over here. And so structure need to be uh, uh, discard. Structure is not the, the way to, to, to develop this. Okay. And also Usually people have this term, very big term, saying that is your Wing Chun test under pressure? Well, actually there's a wrong term too. One must get rid of that. Why? If you train the stand like that with the intra-abdominal pressure, with the breathing, with the, uh, the, the handling of the connection between the leg and the body, where external you push in, internal you push out to balance the thing and your butt secure the entire thing. That is like a four wheel drive. It's a design like a four wheel drive so that when you get here, it is a four wheel drive. Now, a four wheel drive is by design, it's not by testing. If we don't even have idea on what is the four wheel drive, what is a sedan? And we keep being uh, saying, talking about, hey, have your, tra uh, your training under pressure? How do you can face somebody who have trained the proper stance, can go up, down, turning, with the intra-abdominal pressure, the breathing, the connectivity between the leg and the body, dynamically? How can you face somebody who is proficient in that and drill, keeping drilling for the entire body? Once they get close, you know the forearm is going to come, attack. Struggle and attack, struggle and attack. Okay? So, Wing Chun need to reform. Because in the past 100 years or so, Wing Chun is not progressing. Wing Chun is going in the directions of uh, individual have their ideas, but they do not look at what is Wing Chun. 
Wing Chun is a four-wheel drive with a forearm. Wing Chun is not a sedan. So start with 1870 when they developed the three sets. You know from the three sets, it doesn't have this content which I have shared with you for this part of the reform Wing Chun video, the second part on the breathing and intra-abdominal pressure, and the first part on the stance. It doesn't have the three sets, the wooden dummy doesn't have this. Okay, now, we cannot blame on people. The notion I share for reform is not to blame, but to reform. You put the name, uh, the name Wing Chun out there. Don't make it look like a ridiculous thing for other people. Okay. So this is what I like to share with you. The third part, the connectivity between torso and the leg. You need to be able to handle that. And you see that in the Wing Chun three sets. For past 170 years, uh, 150 years since 1870, it never trained that way. Okay, and that is a disaster because it will not support the leg, lower leg and upper the, the body. And later on, people try to uh, fix it by doing uh, rack type of structure that doesn't work in the dynamic. Okay. So this is what I like to share with you. Try it. And that next time I'm going to share with you for the three dimensional or six directional strength in the Shulim Tao. If you don't train that way, it's guaranteed you will never get develop any the, the, the martial arts skill. Because martial arts skill up to now from the sense, from the breathing intra-abdominal pressure, the connectivity between of the uh, leg and the body. This is not just hand techniques. And next time will be the three-dimensional or six-directional force. So only with that basic, you put it into the Shulim Tao sets, Every move you train in the Shulim Tao set is for fighting. So it never is Wing Chun trained this way and have to fight that way. It never is that. 